One of the projects that we've had for a number of years were these solar panels that are located on the roof. They're for the swimming pool to help heat the water. We had a valve leak on this system on the roof and it ended up washing all the gravel off of the shingles. So we literally had to take the solar panels off, have a new roof installed, and then try to get these panels installed again. We could never find anybody that would come and just put the panels back on the roof. Everybody wanted to put a whole new system on there saying that this system was no longer any good. We did locate a company called Flex Solar, which is owned by Jason, who came and installed the units, fixed a couple holes, and got our system back online. So the solar's off, we're going to turn the solar on. First thing we're going to do is open up the solar return line so we don't deadhead anything in the pump. I'm going to turn this at 90 degrees. And that's opened up the return line from the solar. So now that that's open, we're going to open up the feed line. We're going to send water up and it'll be clear to come right back home to the pool. So to do that, we're going to spin this at 180 degrees. So that handle is pointing towards the wall, it says two solar, so now the water's traveling up the pipe. When it comes out of the solar, it'll come right through this valve, it won't be deadhead, and everything's happy. So to turn it off, we'll just reverse it. Um, first, we're going to start with the solar valve here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll spin this 180 degrees again. It says solar bypass, so now the water's coming out of the filter right back to the pool and then ensure that the water won't go up the feed line. We're just gonna shut this as well. And that's in line, this says off, and that cuts this pipe off so water won't go up the panels backwards. And that's it. Thank you, Justin, great job. I went outside to check the temperature in the swimming pool since the solar panels got installed today. I wanted to see what the temperature was so I could tell how much they affected the water temperature. I found this little guy sitting on the frog that we use for the thermometer. And don't ask me what kind he is. The only thing I could find is they called them California lizards and they're very prolific if you see one in a day you'll see about 25 of them they're just everywhere so we scooted off into the bushes i think he had trouble getting out of the swimming pool after he jumped in and found the frog to rest on So this was the reading after we got the lizard on the frog. It's about maybe 81 degrees and it came up to about 86. So the heat collected was about 5 degrees and it made the pool much more comfortable. 